One of the most famous military dance bands has celebrated 70 years of music with a special reunion concert in London. The current lineup of the RAF Squadronaires met up with former members at the world famous Ronnie Scott's Jazz Club. Joined by X Factor finalist Stacey Solomon, they had plenty to celebrate. Their new album, In the Mood, has just reached the highest ever chart position for a military band. Sukaneer reports. <laughs> At last, the chance to perform at Ronnie Scott's, the greatest jazz stage in the world. The RAF Squadronaires celebrate seven decades of making big band music in style. My lonely days are over. Helped by the vocals of X Factor finalist Stacey Solomon, their new album of Glenn Miller songs has just gone to number seven in the pop charts. It's Stacey's first release. I was actually really, really keen to get involved with the Squadronaires because as soon as I found out exactly what they were about, I realised that actually my family members um, are all involved in it in some way or another. My cousin's serving in the army now, my grandpa was in the RAF. Plus the fact that it's just such a wonderful thing when you think about exactly what they're doing, why they're doing it and how they make people feel. Dame Virulin, the original Forces sweetheart, wasn't well enough to attend today, but she has said her husband Harry was an original member of the Squadronaires and she's very pleased the tradition is being kept alive. It's amazing. I mean, I, I play all styles of music, but this music will never, ever go away. It's there, it's part of the country's heritage. Anyone hears it, they immediately think, oh, that's the Second World War. This reunion also marked the 70th anniversary of the Battle of Britain, and having played through war and peacetime, the squadronaires are clearly in the mood to play for another 70 years. Sue Kinnear, Forces News, London.